Hi everyone, we're going to go through the steps here for uh, marking out a common rafter with basically just your scientific calculator. So um, here you'll see uh, illustrated a, a common rafter uh, a, and uh, I've already marked what we're after here which is the plum cut at the top of the common rafter. So that's your plum cut there. So that's in line with the center of the ridge board at the top of the roof at the moment. So um, that's that's just there to illustrate um, what it is we're trying to achieve. So this animation uh, will continue on now just to um, show the steps taken and the formula we, we can use. So just continuing here, um, you know, you, you have this um, distance here. If you can if you can discover this distance and if you look carefully, that's basically a right, little right angle triangle anyways. But in basic terms, if you take it relates to the width of the rafter. So if you take the width of the rafter from here to here, and in this case I'm using a 150 millimeter example, uh, multiply that by the tan of the roof pitch, and simply hit the equal sign, and that is this distance here to keep. And if you join that line back up to the very top corner here, that gives you the plum cut. So um, the formula is going to be illustrated here now. Uh, on the bottom of this presentation here and I'll be showing at the end of this video I'll actually show you the uh, how to use the calculator on the phone on your typical uh, Android phone so I leave that towards the end so if you're not quite sure about how to apply these formulas I'll have an example at the end of this video that will uh, actually show you how to use the mobile phone they're very short little clips so after that then you're just going to get your your bevel here you'll see um, you'll see the bevel coming in here now um, that's that's just indicating there in blue what the plum cut is when you hear the term plum cut that's that's the angle you're referring to there and here's my bevel coming in here which I'm now going to mark and there's my hand coming in and that's how I marked the plum cut uh, uh, when I was marking this rafter so now we have the top edge of the rafter marked and uh, we're ready to uh, continue on just a quick note for those in the United States and maybe other countries as well. Um, in those countries, um, uh, instead of um, getting the uh, given the being given the pitch in degrees for your roof, it's a ratio of rise per foot run. So, in other words, for every twelve inches of horizontal travel, uh, the roof might have a rise, for example, of six inches. So that's the right angle triangle you'll be looking at. So in that case, you could have another approach, which I'm illustrating here in this animation. Basically, get a piece of plywood, maybe 18 inches by two foot, two foot piece of plywood, uh, which is going to appear soon here now against this rafter. And on that corner of that plywood, measure up uh, one corner, uh, six inches if it's a 612 roof and measure 12 inches along the other side of the plywood which is shown here in yellow on the bottom right corner of this piece of plywood here uh, if you look carefully there um, and you can read the message i wrote on that piece of plywood there for, uh, just just to highlight what i'm saying here about roofs in the united states um, so you'll see um, it animated here so these points will be kept in line then with the underbelly of the common rafter and you'll see this piece of plywood move now shortly and we'll uh, line it with the top corner here and keep those two points in line with the underbelly of the rafter and then we will mark we will mark this angle here then with my pencil as is illustrated here now so there you are that's 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 how you marked the um if you're in the states the united states you'd hold it in line here the plywood you would keep those two points aligned if it's a 12-6 roof, so for every 12 inches run, this roof has a, a, a rise of 6 inches. So you can use that approach as, um, uh, as well to mark the plumb cut. Uh, the next thing we're looking for here then, of course, is we, um, we now have the top of our common rafter marked. So we'd like now to uh, hook my tape uh, down to along the top edge of the rafter, and we're going to mark the um, vertical line at the back of the bird's mouth where the wall plate will be um, that's called the heel cut it's the same angle as the plum cut here by the way same angle so you don't change your bevel that we just set in the earlier slide keep the bevel set because you're going to be using that on two more occasions down along this rafter for the heel cut and further on then down and out at the fascia cut there are three of them at the same angle so um and you can see why i kept that line and corner here because now i can hook my tape here and i know i'm measuring from that point 
you know, rather if you mark the plum cut here, you'd, th you'd be trying to hold the tape here and it's not easy. How do you, know, you need to be careful because you're down the other end of the raft and the tape might move. But if you keep this point in line here, this line in line with this top corner of the rafter, then it's easy to hook your tape on. So it's what we're going to illustrate here now is I have my, you can imagine my tape is hooked on here now and we're moving down along the rafter and um, I have my distance calculated, which I'll go into now shortly. And there's a formula that will calculate that distance, that distance down to here. And the formula is uh, basically you take the common rafter run, which in this case is half the span of the roof, common rafter run, um, uh, divided by cost of the roof pitch in degrees. Um, so um, that's, that's illustrated here now on the bottom of this uh, slide here. So basically in this case, you take a, uh, the, 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 the run of your, the run of your rafter and, uh, you'd hit the division sign, uh, hit the cost button on your calculator, uh, tap in whatever degrees it is. I'm just going to be using a 30 degree pitch in this case as an example. Hit the equal sign and straight away, there is your distance. Just like that, you know. So, by the way, I'll, I'll have a little video at the end of, uh, this um, presentation, three of, th of the three separate formulas we're using here uh, on my on my own mobile phone, which is Android. So um, if you're not too sure how to apply these formula, if you follow the three examples at the very end of this presentation uh, using my mobile phone screen, uh, and if you get the same answers I got, then you know you're applying the formulas correctly. So so we'll 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 go into that uh, at the end, as I say. So after that, then yeah. Um, you um yeah after that i suppose uh just a quick note here for people again in the united states and other similar countries where um your roof pitch might be given uh, you can in countries like the us uh, if you use uh, this formula that's illustrated here so basic basically tap in the rise uh, if it's a if if it's a 612 roof in as might be the case in america six a six rise with a, with the 12 run well then tap in tap in the rise in this case to be six and um, then divided by hit the division sign divided by 12 hit equals and whatever answer you get just hit the shift button on your calculator yeah and hit the 10 button and then hit equals and that is the degree for your roof uh, uh, if you're in the US and you're, you're wondering what is the actual pitch in degrees that will get it for you now uh, in this presentation here I've actually already done this for you as this uh, presentation now continues here. I've actually done them calculations to save you having to uh, go through the trouble if you don't, if you haven't time or whatever. So there they are. So for a 312 roof, the degree pitch is 14.03 degrees to be precise. For a 412 roof, if you're in the US, its pitch is 18.46 and so on and so on and so on all along there. I've put all the examples there for you guys. So just pop that in there. Um, and this now we're going to use the formula and formula to find that so this is just um now that you have the pitch of your roof in other words we're just going through the same example here there you you can now apply this formula um as all we've already stated in the previous uh, previous slides so um in this step here then we want to get the distance from the heel cut which is um vertically from the back of your bird's mouth as shown here now and uh, we want to get that distance down to the fascia cut. And uh, here is the fascia cut now down where your uh, fascia will be knelt onto. And uh, and again, notice it's the top edge of the rafter. I put these measurements. And by the way, remember, there's never you never you should never see a square line drawn on the side of a common rafter. It'd be very unusual. So make sure you don't have a um, uh, anthem drawn on the side of the rafter. Um, a, or, or a, a anthem like a square line because um, you know these as you can see these are all plumb lines that's a plumb line that's a plumb line on the top so as I said earlier it's the same bevel you'll be using that you've set for the plumb cut at the top here and here so um, just to continue this slide then um, you can use the uh, following formula here which will quickly determine what that length is and in this case here in this case here I'm going to um, pick an example we would say if you had an if your your the the overhang the, the the horizontal overhang is termed as the um 
the tail run distance. So um, I'll be in for, for when I'm using the calculator now at the end of this presentation, I'll be using an example from here to here, the tail run as being 300 millimeters. And that'll get within the distance f along the length of the tail, which is longer, of course, than the tail run. So the tail length is going to be longer than the tail run. So um, use the following formula into your tail run, in this case, 300 mil. Hit the division button, hit the cost button, pop in the pitch of your roof in degrees, which in this case 30, hit the equal sign, and that that thing gives you the heel to fascia distance, which is this distance from here to here. So um, this next illustration just makes the point that we took the half span as being the common rafter run, but of course uh, when you take when you use the half span, you have to allow then for half the thickness of the ridge board. And that's what's been illustrated here. So I have a center line there drawn on that ridge board coming in now. It's a little off cut of the ridge board. And now I'm just going to draw a pencil. Now you could just draw a little tick there and then come back up with your bevel uh, and continue the tick down. So you're drawing a second line now on the top of your rafter. And there's a the second line drawn on the top of the rafter. And that's the line you'll be cutting with the skill saw now because you uh, you need to allow for half the thickness of the ridge board. So um, the first line then becomes redundant. So um, here now we're going to, sh as promised earlier, I have shown you the uh, three versions, uh, the three formulas we use, using, and I'm showing you a little video I made on my mobile phone screen, uh, showing you how to use the actual calculator on your mobile phone. So we're going to use our uh, calculator that's in our uh, typical um, Android phone. In this case, I have a Samsung mobile phone. So I use my calculator uh, here on the screen, my calculator app. So I'll just hit that. And then when I uh, go into this screen here, I'll just have to hit the uh, logo third from the left on top where you see the little clock logo, that square logo in the middle there. Just hit that. That gets you into scientific calculator mode. So once you're in that mode, then uh, we will use the formula as discussed in the previous uh, slide. So uh, the formula was the rafter width multiplied by the tan of the pitch of the roof will give us that offset distance to give us that plumb cut. So we'll assume it's 150 mil wide rafter. So I'll just tap in 150 multiply by, hit the tan button, tap in, we'll, do, we'll use a 30 degree pitch. So I'll just put in 30 degrees as an example, hit equals. And that tells us that the, if you want a, a plumb cut for a 30 degree roof, then your offset distance is 86.6 mil uh, uh, to get that offset. Okay, so here we're um, going to use the uh, scientific calculator option again to uh, get the distance from the plumb cut to the heel uh, cut uh, down at the wall plate uh, on our common rafter. So just hit the scientific calculator logo there, that square there in the middle of the screen almost. And you're going to uh, landscape mode in on your phone. And uh, in here then we'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll assume the... Um, the common rafter run, I'll just pick 1.7 meters. So I'll just go 1.7 meters as being the run. And the formula states then if you divide that by the cost. So divide and hit the cost button. And uh, whatever the pitch is, so we're assuming a pitch of 30 degrees. So tap in 30 and hit equals. And that tells us that from the uh, plumb cut down to the heel cut along the back edge of the rafter, the top edge of the rafter, if you just run your tape down, you go say 1 meter 962. So um, here we're going to find the true length of the uh, tail of the common rafter. In other words, the distance from the um, heel cut uh, down to the fascia cut. Uh, so um, we hit the scientific calculator option here again in the middle of the screen. That square, little square logo. That brings you into scientific calculator mode. Your screen now goes into landscape mode. And in here we use, uh, we'll pretend the... Um, tail run, which is the horizontal distance measured out, we'll take that as being 300 mil and we'll then use the formula to get that length from uh, uh, heel cut to fascia cut. So we'll just go 300 millimeters uh, divided by cos, hit the cos button, pop in the pitch of the roof, hit equals, and there's your answer. That's the true length of the tail of your common rafter uh, in, on your roof.